So now we are going to show that the Mobius transformation that transforms three distinct points. Z1, Z2 and Z3 in the Z plane onto three distinct points on the W plane W1, W2, W3 this is unique okay so uh, so to show that first uh, we will define the fixed point of a transformation Z is called a fixed point of a transformation if Tz is transformed to Z okay so then your Z is called a fixed point or rather say Z0 all right so Z0 is a fixed point of the transformation T if T of Z0 is Z, Z. remember that the identity transformation IZ equal to Z there are infinitely many all 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 the points are fixed points okay so for identity transformation identity transformation identity transformation uh, all points are fixed points now uh, so for a mobius transformation w equal to say az plus b and cz plus d where ad minus bc is not equal to zero so so let let z is a fixed point okay so if z is a fixed point as z is a fixed point uh, then of this mobius transformation then we, we get that your z equal to what a z plus b and c z plus d all right and that implies that this is a actually uh, a uh, so you see that this is d minus a z plus b minus b minus b equal to zero since so this is a quadratic equation in z and in general this has what uh, two solutions so z equal to so if i solve it then this is a minus d plus minus and uh, d minus a whole square and plus 4bc okay so if your d minus a whole square plus 4bc is uh, is uh, is not equal to 0 okay. this is not equal to 0 then uh, this is a what this is in fact two distinct fixed points okay. two distinct fixed points so uh, distinct fixed points this is distinct fixed points. distinct fixed points fixed points and if equal if equal d minus a square plus 4bc equal to 0 then equal then equal fixed points equal fixed points the fixed points are what equal now now if uh, say c if c equal to 0 then you see that the fixed points are given by z equal to az plus b and d okay and from here uh, you see that your dz minus az minus b equal to 0 and uh, you see that if d is not equal to 0 then z equal to what b uh, d minus a if d is not equal to a and if d equal to a then you will see that and if d equal to a if d equal to a so from here you will see that az equal to az plus b and uh, this implies that b equal to 0 uh, b equal to 0 so if b equal to 0 so so what is the transformation your w is nothing but your az uh, plus 0 divided by uh, your d equal to a so this is z okay so w equal to z this is the transformation so this is the identity transformation so if d equal to a and b equal, b equal to 0 so you see that this is the identity transformation so for this identity transformation there are infinitely many fixed points all the points are fixed points so except that so there are except that so there are uh, at most at most uh, two fixed points two 
specific spawns of a Mobius transformation. Of a Mobius so a Mobius transformation has at most two fixed points except the identity transformation. Now you see that uh, so let your uh, S and T be two Mobius transformations that transforms what that transforms uh, Z1, Z2, Z3, three distinct points, these are distinct, distinct, oh. transforms these onto, onto, say W1, W2, W3, these are also distinct, these are distinct, W1 is not equal to W2, W2 is not equal to W3 and W1 is not equal to W3, okay, so they, these are uh, three distinct points that transform Z1 to W1, Z2 to W2 and Z3 to W3. Uh, so, uh, so that is okay. So this, so, so we have, we have your T of Z one is W one. T of Z2 is W2 and T of Z3 equal to W3. Okay, similarly S of Z1 is W1, S of Z2 is W2 and S of Z3 equal to W3. Okay, so now what is your S inverse of T of Z1? What is this? So you see that this is S inverse of, because we know that a Mobius transform has inverse also, that is also a Mobius transformation. So S inverse of T of Z1 is, uh, T of Z1 is W1 and this is nothing but Z1. Similarly, you will see S inverse of T of Z2 will be equal to S inverse of W2 and that is equal to Z2 and S inverse of T of Z3 is equal to S inverse of W3 and that is equal to Z3. So you see that thus your S inverse T this composition has how many fixed points? Three fixed points. Three fixed points. Three fixed points because Z1 is transformed to Z1, Z2 is transformed to Z2, Z3 is transformed to Z3. So there are three fixed points. Okay, S inverse of T. But we know that a Mobius transformation has at uh, at most two fixed points unless it is a identity transformation okay so thus I, we have what this s inverse t this transformation must be the identity transformation so hence because it is identity transformation so s of this of z must be i of z and this is the identity transformation and this is equal to z for all z for all z in the compass plane okay huh. So, and that implies that if I multiply, uh, if I compose by S, then it will see that your Tz equal to Sz, Sz for all Z in C. So, therefore, we have seen that uh, the S and T are same. So, therefore, but what was S and T? S and T were two Mobius transformation that transforms in three distinct points onto three distinct points. So, therefore, there is only one Mobius transformation that transforms Z1, Z2, Z3 onto W1, W2, W3. Okay, so therefore your W minus W1, W minus W, W2 minus W3, W minus W3, W2 minus W1 is equal to Z minus Z1, Z2 minus Z3, Z minus Z3, and Z2 minus Z1. So this was a Mobius transformation that transformed Z1, Z2, Z3 in, onto Z, W1, W2, W3 respectively. So this is a Mobius transformation and this Mobius transformation is unique. Okay. So the preservation of cross ratios gives a Mobius transformation and that is a unique Mobius transformation as long as the cross ratio is preserved. Okay. So there is only this is uniqueness. So this is unique. Okay. So there, there can be only one Mobius transformation that transforms Z1, Z2, Z3 distinct points onto W1, W2, W3. Okay. So next I will show some more examples and the point that infinity will also be considered. Thank you.